Hello my friends, Ahsoka the Geek here, and for today's video we are going to take a look at the new McFarlane Toys DC Multiverse Rebirth Martian Manhunter alongside a few DC Direct Martian Manhunters. Now I've already done a full review of the Martian Manhunter, the new one, uh, so please go watch that video if you want to see really an in-depth look at this guy um, but I wanted to do this follow-up video because I ended up digging out a few other Martian Manhunters that you see here so I thought I would just take a few minutes and just do a quick comparison video showing 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 him off next to these other Martian Manhunter figures uh, so let's go ahead and do that so let me uh, give myself a little space here so let's move these guys back and let's see who falls over and who doesn't fall over uh, not too bad so far all right, so first I want to show the new Martian Manhunter next to the uh, his, I would say, direct predecessor. So this is the most, I think, the last Martian Manhunter that DC Direct ever did. This is the DC Direct New 52 Martian Manhunter. And as you can see, they have some similar characteristics. They both have, I'm trying to get my footing here, this uh, similar looking uh, costume. They're obviously kind of based on similar designs. New 52 more or less preceded the Rebirth era, so a lot of it did carry over to the Rebirth era. Uh, the Rebirth era on the right and New 52 on the, the left. You can see that the logos are the same. The top part of the costume is very, very similar. Uh, the cape's different because the cape on the new McFarlane one has the, you know, three or the two round things claps, I don't know, whatever you want to call them, that hold the cape, whereas the Martian Manhunter from the New 52 line has the cape flowing from the, the back, and then, of course, the color scheme is very different on the new Martian Manhunter. Uh, the New 52 one is very ripped, as someone pointed out on my Instagram comments, so he chose his form wisely. Um, I also like the the New 52 one from DC Direct just because of the, the detailing of the head, the more alien-looking head sculpt. I mean, look at that head sculpt. It's fantastic. I love those ridges on the side of his heads. Um, so, yeah, he, he's a really nice figure. But I do love the new one as well uh, for on his own merits. But, yeah, there you go. So you can clearly see sort of the evolution from the new 52 on the left to what we have now with Rebirth on the right. So there you go. All right, up next... We have this Martian Manhunter, which is from the first appearance line from DC Direct. I think they were able to call it a first appearance because this costume was new. But um, I already showed this one in my last video, so you've already kind of taken a look at it. But again, you can kind of see somewhat of an evolution here a little bit. Well, not really. This costume is pretty different on the left. The one on the left is very uh, Young Justice looking in its style. Reminds me of uh, Miss, Miss Martian's costume more than John Jones. But I, I like this one as well because of the, the head. I love the more alien looking heads when, when, they, when those are done. So there you go, the ridge on the back. But yeah, there he is. So... Yeah, I think it's a, it's a nice figure. I do have a lot of Martian Manhunter, fig Manhunter figures, don't I? Um, next, I have him next to the DC Direct Supergirl Wonder Woman. Supergirl Martian Manhunter. That's what this figure is. This is from the Supergirl TV show. Um, as you can see, I'm missing one of the shoulder pads, sadly, on the left. Um, hopefully, I'll find that one day. But this is a really nice interpretation of the Martian Manhunter from the Supergirl TV show. I like how f faithful they are in that show to, you know, the, the costume while also looking very alien. Uh, as you can see, kind of like the skin tone on this one is definitely more lifelike versus the other ones. This is actually based on a TV show design. I think they did a great job with this design. I like the suit, the costume. They tried to incorporate a classic look, but... Um, Update it for the TV show, so they did a great job. Um, Height-wise, they look pretty nice together. Uh, they stand both at seven inches, and they scale really nicely. All right, finally, let's bring in the two classic Martian Manhunters. So the one on the left here is like the OG Martian Manhunter from DC Direct. This is the first one they ever did, and they obviously did a great job on this figure. Right from the start, this is a very classic looking Martian Manhunter, uh, especially the, the head sculpt with the big 
forehead is uh, very Martian Manhunter-esque. And, you know, I think they did a great job of capturing this original look from the comic books. Um, the one on the very right here, that is just a repaint of the one on the very left. This came with, I think, a Justice League box set. Just a lighter skin tone, but this guy looks really nice in his own right as well. The lighter skin tone works really nicely. More of a Silver Age uh, Martian Manhunter look. So, there you go. So, yes, yeah, you can really nicely see from all of these figures the evolution of the Martian Manhunter costume to what you get today from McFarland Toys. I do like that these are all in scale and look really nicely nice on the shelf together. So if you are a big Martian Manhunter fan and you have most of these figures, um, I don't think you'll be disappointed with the new one. He fits in really nicely and is a beautiful figure in his own right. Uh, I don't have any of the Mattel Martian Manhunters, unfortunately. Uh, I, I, yeah, I need to get one. I don't have any Martian Manhunters from Mattel, so that's why there aren't any in this video. But um, yeah. So there you go. There's a look at the Martian Manhunter alongside some other Ma Martian Manhunters. Uh, definitely check out my Instagram uh, channel. I think I, I posted a picture of this earlier today. I'll probably post some more comparisons at some point. But uh, as always, thank you for taking time out of your day to watch this video. I hope you enjoyed it and have a great day.